Hello, I am Del Olson, Customer Service Manager at Ophir Spirocon. This video discusses the proper care of nanoscan beam profilers. When used with a proper laser optical setup, photon nanoscan profilers can be used for many years without repairs. If you have any reason to believe that a profiler is no longer performing within the original specifications, we recommend that you send it in for repair or recalibration by our trained technicians to bring the unit back to the proper NIST traceable standards. Photon's scanning slit profilers provide a simple method that works well for both CW and multi-kilohertz and above pulsed lasers. The profiler is placed in line with the laser beam and measures focused beams with little or no attenuation. You can damage the nanoscan scanning head by dropping it. Do not hold the nanoscan by the cable. Shipping the scan head with insufficient packaging. It can be damaged by bending the cable too tight of a radius or from repetitive bending. Also, the cable can be cut by mechanical means or with high-powered lasers. The unit can be damaged by operating in a high particle environment, which can contaminate the slits. Never attempt to clean the slit with a cotton swab or other material. The unit can be damaged by excessive gas pressure. Do not put the spray gun nozzle up close to the slit. To blow out the slit, position the gas gun near the slit, then spray. Or damaged by positioning a source such as an optical fiber into the slit substrate. The nanoscan unit can be damaged by using the wrong application, such as using a silicon detector to measure a 1550 nanometer source, or measuring a 10 micron spot with a 25 micron slit, or measuring a 100 micron spot at 1064 nanometers with a silicon detector can be damaged by overheating, by exposing the scan head to high average power. Instantaneous damage to slits occurs due to exposure to CW beams with irradiance greater than or approximately equal to 10 megawatts per centimeter squared, or from pulse beams with a fluence of greater than or approximately equal to one joule per centimeter squared or from pulsed beams with peak power greater than 10 megawatts per centimeter squared. The air slit and pinhole aperture substrates are very thin and extremely fragile. Any physical contact will likely damage them. Treat the slits with care, never touch them with anything. Debris such as dust particles can lodge in the very fine openings of the slits or pinholes Therefore, when the system is not in use, it is recommended that the protective plastic cap be used to cover the scan head entrance aperture. If inconsistent performance is observed and contamination by debris is suspected, a clean jet of compressed gas may solve the problem. Do not, under any circumstances, attempt to clean the apertures with solvents. If aperture contamination is suspected, it is recommended that the unit be returned to Ophir Spirocon for aperture inspection, cleaning or replacement, and recalibration. Ophir Spirocon does not warrant damage to slit apertures and detectors due to damage from high-powered lasers. Users of high-power lasers must exercise caution when measuring their laser beams with their nanoscan. Damage to the slit apertures can occur at much lower power levels if the laser beam is directed into the slit apertures while the apertures are stationary. Always have the scanning profiler spinning when exposed to the laser beam. The nanoscan measures the beam width very accurately, but some knowledge of the input beam width and power 
is required in order to safely set up the nanoscan for beam width measurement. The nanoscan installation and operation manual includes operating space charts for all nanoscan types. These charts indicate the power and beam size ranges for safe operation. For example, in the silicon 9.5 chart, the y-axis is the power in watts. The x-axis is the beam diameter of a 1 over e squared width beam. The green space shows the safe operating region for the nanoscan head. In the green box, the left boundary shows the smallest beam size limited to 4 to 5 times the slit width. The right boundary indicates the largest beam width of a 1 over e squared width, which is the aperture size divided by approximately 1.3. For instance, if you have a 500 micron beam width, a 10 microwatt input power will be right in the center region of the operating space of the silicon 9.5 nanoscan. However, if you have higher power, as long as the beam diameter is larger, it will also be safe. Or if the beam diameter is smaller, you must check to ensure the power is lower. If you set up your nanoscan within the parameters shown on these charts, the nanoscan will be in a safe operating region, providing accurate measurement and reliable performance. Operation outside of the green area means that the nanoscan will not be measuring properly. If you're above the green space, damage can occur. If you operate to the right, you'll see saturation, which results in a wrong measurement. Operation below or to the left of the chart will result in a non-measurement. In addition to the operating space charts, there's also a nanoscan exposure limit calculator. This is an Excel spreadsheet available off the Ophir Spiracon website that you can use to enter the parameters of your laser and of the nanoscan that you're using and it will compute whether you're in a safe operating range or a cautionary range or outside of the safe operating range of that particular nanoscan. We here at Ophir Spiracon are committed to your satisfaction. A detailed explanation of the concepts covered in this video are provided with every new nanoscan beam profiler and is available on our website for download. If you would like to speak to a representative about your profiler, new products, or to optimize your laser measurement system for accurate, consistent, and highly repeatable results, please call us at 866-755-5499. Thank you.